Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a look at the CCM Axis Goalie Mask and we are comparing it to the old GFL Pro, as you can see there. Um, so obviously this is not my mask, I have not worn it, um, but I thought it would be interesting to go over what has changed and the new things in the Axis Mask because they're doing something pretty interesting in it. Um, so we'll do that. To start off with, what do you get in the Axis Mask? Well, you get the helmet itself. You get this padded bag, um, which does have some nice mesh through it, so it should be a bit breathable. And you get an extra sweat headband, so this is kind of just like a, it's kind of a fuzzy one. I think that's really similar to what the previous ones were, a little bit thinner compared to the previous one, but it's that. And the other one that comes in the helmet is this kind of nylon mesh one. I don't know what exactly it is. It seems nice and soft. Um, I actually would not mind that at all as my sweatband, but I use a Vogel sweatband or bamboo one because it works pretty well. But anyways, so this is what comes in the mask itself. Um, so that is, I would say that's an upgrade over the old one. I do not have the mask for the old one of the bag. So I can't comment if the old one had uh, a multiple in there, I can't remember. Of note to compare this to other brands, um, Bauer gives you a bag for the for the enemy. It gives you a bag, an extra cage, and an extra sweatband. I know Warrior gives you, I think, a bag and a dangler. Um, I don't know how many sweatbands. So CCM's kind of, in my opinion, lacking a little bit there. Um, but I don't know what's in the XPM, the profile line for Bauer, because I haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, and they're coming out with new ones, so I don't know what's included in that one. If it's, uh, it might be comparable to this. Anyways. Overall shape is pretty similar, I'm gonna say. This is a small, this is a, a medium. Um, so I'm not gonna weigh them because I don't really care about weight as well as I have a small and a medium, so it's kind of hard to compare that in that sense. Um, but the cage and everything looks pretty pretty much the same. Uh, not huge change, it doesn't look like there's huge changes there. Again, I'm not wearing this, so I can't comment on how it works and all the visibility, stuff like that. One nice upgrade on the new one is they have these little plastic dampeners on the cage to protect the paint. Um, so you have one there, one there, and honestly, that looks like it. Um, I would have liked to see them here too, because that part's definitely gonna be on the shelf, so that would have been nice there. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't put that there. Um, but it is up there. Maybe it's just because there is no uh, screw up there holding in place, but would have been nice to see it right here, because you know that that's gonna hit. Um, but that is new compared to the old one. I guess really quick, we'll go through the old one just to show it off. Um, so the, all of, I think this one was made of TechStream too. I can't, TechStream, I can't remember off the top of my head, sorry. Um, but you can see the carbon fiber weave on the inside. Um, this was a very stiff mask, as you can see, very stiff mask. Uh, my issue with stiffness is I'm, okay, I'm not, uh, materials engineer and I don't know a ton about for protection on mass in terms of like stiffness and stuff like that and what's better or not but the plastic ones that can bend like from a ball street hockey ball are obviously terrible this is very stiff so I have to give TCM props and making a stiff mask um, the foam on this was pretty lacking if I'm totally honest um, and yeah so this foam was pretty lacking it's you have your d3o right there and you can see it on the inside you have your d3o on the sides but this foam is pretty hard um now i can't remember if this is the original one or the second generation one i think it's a second generation one don't quote me on that but yeah this foam was pretty hard to begin with pretty thin this was lacking a lot compared to what bauer uh offers i'm comparing bauer because i know they're the biggest retail mask like this um, my Protect Sport has much softer foams on this and that's made in like someone's garage. Up here is a bit softer, but most of the foams in here are pretty hard. Um, so not that comfortable, pretty standard chin cup, nothing special there. This helmet, the good, the good part about these helmets, one, I really like the shape, but um, is the fit of them is very unique compared to Bauer helmets. Um, so if you don't fit in one of those, you generally fit in this and like you can fit in a Bauer one and also fit in this too, so it's not just like one or the other. But it's good that they have another fit offering out there. It's a deep mask, um, so if you have like a deep head, this one generally fits pretty good. Um, 
So it's good that that's a thing and they have another option out there. So there is a ton, sorry, it wasn't Tech Stream, that's Bauer, it's Sigma Techs. Anyways, so there is a ton of changes to this. So right from the get-go, you can see the different foams on the inside. So I think this is the D3O Lite right here, and then you have your actual D3O there. I don't know about D3O for a helmet, to be totally honest, because it's I found it not like soft enough. It's too hard, it hardens on impact, so I'm not sure how that works for padding in terms of like a helmet, um, but it is, I can't comment on it because I haven't used it. But the interior of this has changed like a lot and it's pretty impressive. So yeah, you have your Sigma Techs on this one. That one isn't labeled, so I'm not sure if it uses it. Looked pretty similar in terms of the actual like weave, but very, very stiff helmet again, which pretty impressive for if that's what you're looking for. And the foam package in here is heavily improved and it's including the new FI. Well, I don't know if it's called FI, what's it called? Fluid Inside Pod Matrix. Um, IQ Cushion Gel Memory Foam. So this is also on their player helmet. It's the Tax 910 that's coming out. So you have these little pods and inside the pods, hopefully this is on camera, inside the pods is fluid. So you can, it's squishy. You can kind of see um, like the design of it. Hopefully. And that's a fluid in there. Uh, let's see if they have logo. Yeah, they all have the, these two have logo. So there's the there's the pod, and that has like a fluid in there, and it's connected through here, as you can see. If we pull this out a bit, you can kind of see just how that's connected in there. Um, so yeah, there's a that little pod in there, which does look like you could replace it if something happened, which is always good. Connected to the D3 light, which I'm pretty sure that is. Pretty interesting. Um, it's a new take. Again, they're doing this on their player helmet too. I don't know how this is gonna work. Obviously I haven't used this, um, but I'm definitely game for CCM trying things like this. That's a big improvement on what they were doing before. So huge props in there. Um, you do have, like I said, your D3 light. This foam is a lot softer than the old one. Like you can see just how much that compresses when I touch it. Much more, that would be much more comfortable on your head. It does hit a solid block though when it hits that D3O. So it goes in and then it's like just stops. So I'm really curious to how comfortable that really will be from puck absorption or like impact absorption. Um, again, I'm not wearing this so I can't comment. This foam right here is, I'm trying to get this on camera better. So this foam is a little um, harder than this one as you can see. And then you do have kind of the same design back there behind there, but you also have that padding there too. So here is the back plate of the CCM helmet. It does not, I don't know if this is carbon fiber or not. Doesn't really feel like it. Um, it is kind of flexible. I'm not sure what this is made of. Not like you're gonna take pucks there anyways, but um, I wanna take this off because this is the foam that is on the top of the helmet too. So up here, um, but I figured this would be a better way to actually look at the foam itself. So. And I had a, a big post about criticisms of CCM goalie in the past, not using their technology from their player stuff in their goalie stuff. Um, so obviously they didn't listen to me and they were doing this anyways, because this turnaround was like one generation. So this is kind of like all foams that would be used in their player equipment at in some way, shape or form, like their player masks or helmets at especially. This is a much nicer foam for your head. Um, than like than what they normally use like for example on this just hard crappy foam um it's, i think it's like just a vn this is way better this is a huge improvement um so in both of these i think are a thousand dollar mass this is a huge huge improvement over that so i got to give ccm huge props for that because they're trying something new with this helmet and it's it's like that foam is way better than before I do have to say though, this foam is nowhere near as like instantly comfortable and kind of like you're amazed at how comfortable it is compared to the Bauer like pour on in their profile mask because that thing is so thick and like plush and soft. It feels unreal. And I, don't, I haven't ever worn anything close to that. Even the old Maltese stuff um, has never been as nice as that pour on. So I gotta give Bauer props for that but this is a huge, huge step in the right direction. So I have to give CCM massive credit uh, because that's way, way better than what they had before. So the next piece that they kind of changed was this chin cup. 
So you have your chin cup here. You can see the D3O orange sticking through there. Also has a D3O labeled there. Um, this is supposedly a triple density layer chin cup. Now I'm using a Bauer chin cup. It's a pour on one. It doesn't actually fit my chin that well. It's too flat. This looks like it would actually fit your chin much nicer, actually fit in there. You also can see, hopefully this comes up on camera, you can see that orange peeking out from under one of these layers. So there is D3O in between too. Um, so that's pretty interesting. It's much better than what this one was, which was just a crappy foam chin cup. So again, huge improvement. Um, good job CCM and making changes and like getting better. The no Laferve design, as you can see, Axis Laferve. Um, that's not on this one anymore. So like CCM has made changes. They definitely seem positive. This mask is definitely an improvement of the old one. So I gotta give them huge props for that. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful. Um, hopefully you found it interesting. Remember to like this video, comment if you have any questions or comments, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow, hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have some little posts about this, just showing off the back plate, stuff like that. Um, and if you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to manufacturer let them know. Helps me get on their radar. And hopefully one day I would be able to test these out on ice or with sticks being hit instead of just going over the tech like this. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.